Good morning and welcome back to Chaffee Land. I am Christian Chaffee and I am an antique dealer. Today what I want to do is share with you some of the results from the first video and the items which I purchased up at the Ventura Outdoor Antique Show. A number of the items which I shared with you uh, from the Ventura Outdoor Antique Show have been sold. So I'm going to share the results with you on this. Uh, here we have the American basketry bottle. I thought I would get about 250 for it. I, I was lucky, I think, to get 190. Uh, as you recall, I paid about sixty dollars for this bottle, so I made 130 dollars. I think it took me two or three minutes to buy it. Took a little while to put it on eBay, maybe I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. But the profit's 130 dollars. I think that's about what a lawyer makes. That's on that one item. Next item I want to show you here is the jade belt buckle. And here you can see that the jade belt buckle that I thought would sell for $250, I think I bought it for $20, it sold for $250. So I made $230 on this. And I recall when I bought it, I think it took about a minute to buy it. And when I sold it, it took a few minutes to put it on eBay. And it took a little while to wrap it in a box and ship it off, but the profit's $230. I don't know what you make per hour, but I don't think I have an hour into this whole thing. Next item. This brought a little less than I thought it was. This is the Moriagi uh, jug. Uh, it had a few little breaks in the raised uh, enamel decoration. It ended up bringing $45. I thought it would bring $75, but apparently I guess it had a few more breaks than it than was good, so it brought the price down a little bit, but still I made money. The next item was the uh, tinted photograph, which the California landscape done in three panels. Uh, I don't remember exactly what I paid for it, but I think it was somewhere around $45. I sold it for $96. Still half a tank of gas. I'm very happy with that. Next item was a jade cat. That was the one that was uh, the beautiful white with green in it. And here it sold on eBay, and I got $765 for it. I bought it for $40. It probably took two minutes to buy it, maybe 15 minutes to get it on eBay, and maybe 10 minutes to put it in a box and then dress it out. So I have less than an hour into it, and the profit on this one was $725. Not bad. And I sold one of the two sets of Britons, the Toy Soldiers. See, it brought $96. The economy's bad across the board, so don't get hung up on trying to get the prices from the old days. You've got to come down 10, 20, 30 percent, or you're not going to move it. When I was a boy growing up, my father said, never pay more than 2 percent of what you think it's worth. And you know, there's a lot of, of wisdom in being, being very, very frugal because Many times when you go to sell these items, they don't bring what you thought they might. So be conservative, keep your cash in your pocket, and when you hit that deal, you'll know it. You'll feel it in your heart. And ask yourself this, when you look at an item and you're stuck on the edge of making a decision, should I buy it or should I not buy it? You ask yourself, if this isn't what I think it is, what can I sell it for? And if you know you're still safe, then buy it. But if you know that you're buying it because of a specific characteristic that you're unsure of, stay away from it. it it's, it's, if the item is dirt cheap, just buy it so you can go home and do the research and learn. But when it gets expensive, it's better to know what you're doing and keep your wallet in your pocket until you know that it's a good investment. So anyway, I'm glad to help you. I want to say goodbye because I'm heading out on sales. Thank you very much. Nuggets say goodbye.